Okay, I've decided this month, since I'm starting to make videos, I'm going to go ahead and do a Loot Crate unboxing because I've been getting these since December. So, this month's theme was Adventure, and it is the month of Maze. And I kind of already have an idea of what's in here. They sent an email, and I didn't read it, and they sent the magazine in digital form. So I kind of have an idea of what everything's going to look like, or at least some of the basics of what it's going to look like. But, this is what it looks like. Just all nice, nice, and, nice and neatly packaged. Um... I'll just leave it right here. We'll go ahead. I know that you saw there's a shirt. We'll get to that after the two other things that are sitting here because I already know what the shirt looks like. So the first looks like a Fiona tin can. I'm assuming that's Fiona. I don't watch that much Adventure Time, but I do watch some. And I remember that episode, but there's supposed to be a figurine in this, so... Let's open it up and see who we got, because I don't know if it's going to match the tin or not. Um, that was a bigger bag than what I thought it'd be. Might have been easier to pre-open some of these things. Oh, nope, it had a little tear on it. Um, more wrapping. I got... Lumpy Space Princess. So, I was correct in thinking that the figurine inside would not match the tin case, but hey, I'm happy to have another tin case. I use my Iron Man one all the time. It generally is a change collector, but I still use it. So, this was a nice little figurine and tin case that I'll probably use a lot. Next up is the Minecraft Hanger, and I'm not sure what's in here, but looking at the choices, I'd probably be pretty happy with a Creeper or a Zombie Pigman, but let's open it up and see what is in here. I wasn't sure if I'd have to stop and go get a pair of scissors or not. Um, ooh, I'm not complaining with this one either. I didn't know it'd be a full figurine. I got, ooh, and he moves. I got Steve. He's kind of like a little Lego figurine look, but it's actually really kind of cool because you can move his arms and his legs around, so. I'm actually pretty happy with that because I thought it would be a Steve head because... The back of the package, if you can see it, shows that it's only heads. Even though the front shows it's a full body. I wasn't sure how it would end up. But I'm pretty happy with Steve. I'll probably put him up there with the rest of my uh, little figurines, along with Lumpy Space Princess. Because I have a little stand for my figurines until I find, until I get too many and have to find somewhere else to put them. Next up is the shirt, which I kind of already know what it looks like. It's the only thing that was hardcore ruined for me. It's a, a Link shirt, Legend of Zelda. Um, this is what it looks like. It's typecasted, I believe is what it's called. And I'll probably read into what it says later on it, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with the games from what I remember reading about it. But this is the shirt that came with it. It's supposedly an exclusive Legend of Zelda shirt. So, I hope that goes in well enough on the camera, because I can't tell. But I'll probably end up wearing that today, because I got some running around to do later. But I'll probably wear that when I go out and about. Uh, next thing up in the loot crate looks like it is a bottle opener. I don't know if I can, if you can read that or not, I'll probably have to check if not. Oh uh, well, I'll read it for you. It says, it's dangerous to go alone, take this, and it's a bottle opener with a loot crate symbol on it. It's got Zelda on it, 
Oh, it's got the two flames and the old guy from one of the original games. So this would actually be pretty nice because I don't have a bottle opener per se. So now I should be able to open up any beer that I have that I don't have a bottle opener for because I don't really drink pop. I don't even drink beer that often, but when I come across one that needs a bottle opener, I'll have one, which is pretty awesome. So that's another thing I'll probably end up using, but I don't know how much. Up next is the May Loot Crate pen, which I don't know if it's zooming in, I've never tried doing this before, but it's got the Minecraft sword on it, the Legend of Zelda sword, and the Triforce shield, which I don't play a lot of Zelda, so if I butcher what it's called, don't get too mad at me. But. This is a nice little pen to add to my collection. I need to start putting them somewhere, but I don't know where to put them yet. Um, up next, this box was uh, curated by a few gamers off of YouTube. I believe I know who two of them are, and that's it. And they picked out stuff to send along. And I kind of already knew what they sent. One is Markiplier. And there are fake tattoos, and I was really hoping to get one that was a giant mustache, because I was going to put it on midway through the video. But, they're not giant mustaches, they're just normal little tattoos. So, I guess I won't be getting up and making a fool of myself with these. But those are pretty neat. I got big plans this weekend, so I might put some of those on just for the hell of it. Uh, up next. How many hands are left? Okay. Up next is the Curator Sticker Set, which is a, a sticker set from all the people that helped curate the box and pick items. And It's just, I'm not sure who half of them are. There looks to be Josh Jepson, Polaris, Maker, there's Markiplier, Captain Sparkles, and then they didn't send me the little magazine, so I can't open it up to read who the anime girl is and who the guy that's dressed up like Link is. So, I'm not sure who those two are. Sorry about it, I guess. They sent the mag magazine as a digital copy, and I guess that's why they didn't send an actual paper copy. Um, what is even supposed to be on this? Uh, the next thing is the Friend Zone soundtrack, which I have no idea who they are, but I'm really hoping the soundtrack's worth it. Um, I'll have to put it in the computer and after I get done with this and take a listen. If it's good, I'll probably end up putting it on my phone and taking it with me, but nonetheless, it's always really cool to get something that... I could end up copying them. If I lose it, I always have a copy of it. And it looks like this is an item curated for Maker because it's got the little symbol on the back of it. I don't know if you can see that. But that's the same symbol as the one at the very bottom that says Maker. So that must be curated by him. Um, does this have a symbol on it? I don't know. Because there's items in here that. I guess everything was picked by one of the curators, because some of these have the labels on them and some of them don't, so I'm not sure. But the last item in the box is Captain Sparkle stickers, and I actually really like them. They're, they're really neat looking. I don't know if it'll catch in and zoom on this, but those are the stickers, and they're actually kind of really neat looking. i got to figure out where I'm going to put these, but... That, that is all for May's Loot Crate. I got, as a recap, I got the stickers that I just showed you. I got the sticker, sticker set from all the key writers. I'm trying to put this back in a neat order, too. The Friend Zone soundtrack, which I'm leaving out because I'm putting the stickers back in the box so I don't lose them. Um, the Markiplier Tats which I'm interested to go play with. 
my Fiona 10, which I didn't show you, it's got like the little ears on the top too, but the Fiona 10 uh, is actually really neat looking with the Lumpy Space Princess toy on the inside, but I gotta go sit up with the rest of my figurines after this video. Um, the little Steve hanger was something that I got, and then the bottle opener. I'm trying to see if I could get it to zoom in again, but the bottle opener, which I'll probably put on my keychain and take that with me when I go out and about. And then uh, the Loot Crate pen. And that's all I got, so this was May's Loot Crate unboxing, and as I said, the theme was adventure. Um... I'll leave a link down in the description, so if you want to get your own loot crate, you can go ahead and go to the website and get one. So, that will be all for this month's unboxing of Loot Crate. Um, I'll probably do another one again next month when the next one comes out. But, now i got a little bit of a mess to clean up from all the wrapping paper from everything. But, that's it for this month. Later.